ஹே வணக்கம் மக்களே ஐ ஹோப் யூ ஆர் டூயிங் வெல் வெல்கம் டு மேட் டேலண்ட்ஸ் ப்ளீஸ் டு கன்சிடர் சப்ஸ்கிரைபிங் டு அவர் சேனல் அண்ட் ஷேர் வித் யுவர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஷிவர் ஃப்ரம் மேட் டேலண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி கேன் சி அ டாபிக் கோல்ட் டு லேசி ஃபார் சிவிலைசேஷன் இட்ஸ் நாட் ஈஸி டு பி எ லேசி பர்சன் இன் திஸ் ஃபாஸ்ட் ரன்னிங் வேர்ல்ட் ஐ வாஸ் கான்ஸ்டன்ட்லி அக்யூஸ்ட் பை பீப்புள் தட் ஐ எம் டு லேசி டு டூ எனி திங் ஹூ வுட் ஹவ் தாட் that doing nothing would have been a life saving battle in 2020 it's like the nature demands me to be as lazy as possible but the people around me sees it as a crime how can you be so lazy how can you just sit around do nothing they call me a useless fellow so i'm asking what's your problem i don't get it Does being myself affect you in any way? You are having your own life. It doesn't matter how I live. You just gonna be fine. Then why all the complaining and looking down on me? It's like saying I'm working hard every day to get one weekend of rest. How can you be resting every day to get another rest of for weekend? Oh, oops. When everyone is running, we must run along with them. It doesn't matter you want to sit or sleep or swim. It doesn't matter what you want to do. You have to be what everyone wants to be. Or you will be considered as a big failure. Why? No one knows. The bar for success that you consider for yourself doesn't apply to me. The success I am aiming for is totally different from the success that you want it's because we are different from each other doesn't mean one way is superior than the other humans were evolved as a nomadic animals who should hunt and gather for living the ultimate aim of human beings were to eat survive and reproduce there were no concept of country language religion race or caste You just hunt, eat and have and wander around the world. Sounds like heaven. Maybe not. There is no morality when you live by the concept of survival of the fittest. Not an ideal situation for someone like me who doesn't fit. So, we can know for sure. But in that case, how did civilization start? that demand certain expectations from me let's go back in human history and let's do some interpretations after all history is just interpretation of different people from what's left behind humans eventually became lazy to move around and decided to stay in one place mostly in a source of food they just settled in one place called their own village or city and the tribal groups are forbidden from entering the place because the place has to provide enough food for them if there are more outsiders coming into their place then the food that they have might not be enough for all source of xenophobia maybe trade and economic development started with that everything human still developing insecurity from on and on what would have happened if one person said why would you want to stay in one place forever it's just stupid it's basic animal instinct to have is or her own territory which can be seen in many animal behaviors maybe it's inevitable but is it even possible world with the borders what an hateful thought what will happen to all those weapon industries and great an amount of money invested in them the economy around it will it just vanish why would someone with same mind want that why would i show my patriotism if there is no country in the first place to defend or enemy country to attack how will i show my power and superiority how will i become rich so that can be poor who would depend on me forever everything because of one lazy man's idea of staying in one place so much for the civilization born out of laziness 
which abhorred and looks down on lazy person and demands me not to be lazy